Joining us now, great to welcome a man who has uh, co-written a book with his uh, brother, and it's going to be uh, a book I think a lot of people are going to enjoy. It's not just a joke book, it also teaches some lessons as well. It's called Life is a Joke, 100 Life Lessons with Punchlines, and we're joined by Gordon uh, John. Now, you know his work, along with his brother John. They have that uh, great Uncle John's Bathroom Reader Series, over 15 million copies in print there, so you know this one's going to be uh, just as good. And uh, Gordon, good to talk with you. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me on your show, Doug. Yeah, congratulations on the uh, on the Uncle John's Bathroom Reader Series. Uh, I, I guess when you start a project, you hope it's successful, but that, that's quite a number. I, I, you probably didn't even anticipate that, right? Yeah, uh, no, nobody thought that was going to be... Uh, and that, that was in the 1980s that, that we started that, and right. uh, it's still going strong. We just finished the, the um, 30th anniversary edition of that book. So, <laughs> no, and who, who can who can predict that kind of success or that longevity even? Um, it's you know, it's, it's a nice annuity, have. though, for you. <laughs> um, well, we don't own it anymore, oh, is that right? uh, unfortunately. Oh, okay. So, no, no, no. My brother invented that series and sold it a very long time ago, uh, but we continued to work for it, but... Um, but it doesn't matter. I still love it, and uh, I'm still very proud of it. Well, that, that's then. Let's talk about this book. And I had a chance to read through it. And and for those people may not aware, it, it's you know, there's, it's a lot of jokes in it. But it's not just a joke book. It uh, you know, you have some classic uh, jokes in there, but you also teach kind of some lessons of uh, how they can apply to life. A lot of good jokes are kind of based on the truth, aren't they? Well, I, I think so. Uh, I think that's a key element in in, in what makes you um, uh, what makes you react to a joke is if there's truth in, truth in it. And um, this book came about because John and I were sitting around talking about possible book ideas, which is something that I guess most people don't do that, but we do. And uh, <laughs> and I said, I, I like self-help books. I like to do a self-help book. And John's, John then said, you know, I use jokes to teach my children certain lessons, things that, you know, because, if, you know, kids are, if you, you tell them, um, if you tell them, uh, uh, preach at them, you know, what to do, tell them what to do, they, they won't do it. They don't want to do it. Uh, but if you put it in a joke form and make them laugh, then it's something that they can relate to. And so all of a sudden, as we're talking about this, a light goes off in our heads. Oh, wait a minute. Could we do a combination joke book and self-help book and we looked around nobody had ever done this before that we could find and so uh we did we 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 started to collect jokes and we realized that like fables or parables you know jokes have, are little stories um you know not all jokes some jokes are one-liners or or you know wordplay but these kind of jokes these funny stories they have they have characters they have plots they have little twisty endings and um and it, we realized that we were creating an opportunity to uh impart a little bit of life's wisdom which you know we got from our own lives we've had our 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 share of successes and failures it taught us quite a bit plus we incorporated a lot of wisdom that came from from our father uh, who liked to tell us little stories and and uh, and you know, little proverbs in order to <laughs> teach us uh, about things and, uh, and before we knew it we had enough we had collected enough jokes and these are all classic jokes these are not something that we came up with from scratch but um, before we knew it, we had enough to, to fill up a book, and, and we thought we uh, we had done what we set out to do, which is create a, a vehicle for um, imparting a little bit of life wisdom. I was going to say, with the classic jokes, uh, I'm guessing you and I are roughly in the same age bracket, and you know, growing up as a kid, watching uh, kind of the you know the tail end of variety shows, Ed Sullivan show and the Tonight Show, you, you got to see these great comedians yeah. that would tell these types of jokes like a Buddy Hackett or a, or a Jack Carter, even in person I had a chance to see you know, guys like Bob Hope and Milton Berle which, you know, they, they did one liners but they did these great story jokes which, which you don't hear much anymore. Yeah, my, one of my favorite comedians who did that was a guy named Myron Cohen. Myron Cohen, sure. He, yeah. He, like, he, yeah, he, he told, in fact, there is one Myron Cohen joke in, in this book that, that I, I saw him on Ed Sullivan, and I heard, and so we're talking about 50 years ago, you know, I saw him tell his joke, and it just stuck with me over the years, and that's the, that's the story about the, um, the, the grandmother who's on, sitting on the beach with her grandchild, 
when all of a sudden a wave comes in and sweeps the boy out to sea. And the grandmother immediately falls down on her knees and starts wailing, oh, please, God, please bring, please bring my, my grandson back. I'll be so grateful forever. Please, if you'll only bring him back. Whereupon, another wave comes over the beach, and what do you know? The, the, the grandson is deposited right back in front of her, good as new. And she looks up to the sky, and she says... He had a hat. <laughs> I had a record album I found in the, in the old, you know, when you used to be able to go into the record stores in the old bins, and it was a Myron Cohen album, and I yeah. bought it, and, and those great story. He was, he was a master. Yeah, he was great. <laughs> yeah, he was a great storyteller. Well, the, the life lesson from that story is that um, we have to take a moment and be grateful for what we have. Right. right. I mean, that sounds corny, but... We all are in such a hurry to want more. Everybody wants more. Uh, that, that's human nature. But it behooves us to stop for a moment and be, uh, be grateful uh, for what we have. And, and each of these jokes, after we, we, we say what uh, the life lesson that we get out of this joke is, we have a section that we call Beyond the Punchline which is a series of tips that we've researched very often. These come from uh, psychologists or uh, statistical analyses of, of uh, how people react to things. <clears throat> and we just wanted to make it a little more accessible, a little ways for people to use this information. And so this one, that joke, has uh, talks about the, the benefits, the health benefits of gratitude. Of expressing gratitude, these are the scientific research has determined that you actually get there are actually health benefits from saying thank you. So um, we, we sort of elucidate, uh, you know, go a little bit further in, in talking about those things. I, I, I miss those. And I have some there. Myron Cohen albums too. Yeah, I, I miss. But, I, I would have loved to have been alive. Maybe 20 years before, they'd be able to see those guys more because I just kind of caught the tail end of it. But yeah, yeah. those those guys were great. They could they really tell a joke. You don't you don't see that anymore. It's all yeah. story. You know, uh, talking about themselves or if anything, it's one liners. But it's yeah. not it's not that kind of joke teller anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, and Myron Cohen uh, was a uh, uh, I think he was a garment salesman. A salesman, yeah, right, right. Yeah, and that's how he. He would go around and tell a little joke so, before he made a sale or, or yeah. try to get a sale. And then, and, yeah. And, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's the great thing about this book. Again, you know, classic jokes, a hundred of them in there, but also a little life lesson after each one and uh, what we can learn from it. And the book is called Life is a Joke, 100 Life Lessons with Punchlines. And we've been talking with uh, Gordon, also with his brother John Javna, has uh, put this book together. Do you have a website, uh, Gordon, you can direct people to, get more information about the book? I, I don't have, a, we don't have a Life is a Joke website but um, uh, if people want to see something about the book, they can go to uh, our publisher's website. That's Workman Publishing. So it's workman.com, and they can find the book, you know, also online. At, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if Workman sells it, but certainly Amazon does, and it's at Dollar Barnes & Noble, and probably your local bookstore and your local gift shop. I assume so. And we'll put a link on our website <laughs> as well uh, with the interview if people can get the Fantastic. book. But uh, Gordon, pleasure talking to you. Great idea for a book. Uh, I'm sure uh, there's more jokes in there. You could probably do another volume, maybe, perhaps. But uh, whatever you do next, we'd love to talk to you, hopefully sometime next year. Great. Thanks very much, Doug. Appreciate it. I'm Stan Brock. Thirty years ago, I formed Remote Area Medical to help people overseas. But then we found generations of families in America isolated by poverty from the health care they need. Together, we can take dental, vision, and medical help to a million adults and their kids right here at home in the United States of America. If you'd like to order the book we're talking about, please go to DougMilesMedia.com and enter the author's name in the Amazon search box. Thank you for listening. Please come back soon for more conversations here at DougMilesMedia.com. This has been a presentation of Doug Miles Media, all rights reserved. You can listen to or download previous programs at iTunes, Stitcher.com, or DougMilesMedia.com.